Yangon, Reuters, a Myanmar police officer who was part of the team that arrested two Reuters journalists in December told a court on Tuesday that he had burned the notes he made at the time, but gave no reason why he had done so. Police 2nd Lt. Tin Tui Oo was the latest prosecution witness to give evidence at the Insane District Court in Yangon, which will decide whether reporters W.A. Lone, 31, and Kai Aso Oo, 27, should be charged under Myanmar Euro trademark S Colonial Era Official Secrets Act. Tin Tui Oo read from a notebook to recount details of the arrest, which he said was based on notes written at the time. Under cross examination by the defense, he said he had burned his original notes, but had not been instructed to do so. A Euro or Ian Lee the police will know the reason for that a Euro defense lawyer then Zhang told reporters after the hearing. Dozens of reporters and diplomats were present when the Reuters journalists were brought in handcuffs from prison to the crowded courtroom. They had worked on Reuters coverage of a crisis in Rakhine State, where an army crackdown on insurgents since the end of August has triggered the flight of 688,000 Rohingya Muslims to Bangladesh, according to the United Nations. Graphic, arrested Reuters reporters, here. W.A. Lone and Kai Aso Oo were detained on December 12 after they had been invited to meet police officers over dinner in Yangon. They have told relatives they were arrested almost immediately after being handed some documents at a restaurant by two officers they had not met before. Tin Tui Oo made no reference to the restaurant meeting, saying police stopped the two reporters as they walked along a road. He said after stopping them, police discovered secret documents relating to the Rakhine conflict. The arresting officers made an inventory of around 20 items in their possession a euro including their cell phone numbers and details of ATM and library cards a euro on the spot within 10 to 15 minutes, he said. Defense lawyer then Zhang said he had asked Tin Tui Oo repeatedly in cross-examination how they had been able to do this so quickly, but said he did not give a clear response. A Euro or FA were saying that it only took 10 to 15 minutes but items found from the reporters were phones and cards and it will take around 30 minutes to record those A Euro then Zhang said. Calls for release. At the last court hearing on Thursday, another prosecution witness, Police Major Min Thant, agreed during cross-examination by the defense that the information in documents that W.A. Lone and Kai Aso Oo were holding in their hands at the time of their arrest had already been published in newspaper reports. A. Euro Alone and Kai Aso Oo are journalists who perform a crucial role in shedding light on issues of global interest A. Euro Reuters said in a statement after the proceedings ended for the day. A Euro we believe that the ongoing court proceedings will demonstrate their innocence and they will be able to return to their jobs reporting on events in Myanmar. We are grateful for the expressions of support for WA Loan and Kai Aso Oo and continue to call for their prompt release A Euro. The two reporters, whose application for bail was declined at the last hearing, have now been in detention for eight weeks first in police custody and then in Yangana Euro trademark S notorious insane prison. A Euro we feel they're a Euro trademark s no justice a Euro w a loan shouted as he and Kai Aso Oo were led to a police truck after the hearing. A Euro or eth testimonies from the police officers are far from the truth a Euro. Spokesmen for the Ministry of Home Affairs and the Yangon police chief were not immediately available for comment. In the past they have declined to comment on a case that is before the courts. The official Secrets Act dates back to 1923 when Myanmar, then known as Burma, was under British rule, and carries a maximum prison sentence of 14 years. The two journalists have been accused under Section 3.1, c, of the Act, which covers entering prohibited places, and taking images or obtaining secret official documents that a Euro might be or is intended to be, directly or indirectly, useful to an NMI Euro. Government officials from some of the world a Euro trademark s major nations, including the United States, Britain, and Canada, as well as top UN officials, have called for the reporters to be freed. The date of the next hearing was set for February 14th.